This story is about what appears to have been a secret pact which was made during the war in 1916. Evidence of this was discovered hidden amongst brickwork when a building in Pelsall was demolished many years ago. Despite best efforts and appeals made at the time, I have never been able to get to the bottom of this unsolved mystery. This very intriguing unsolved mystery is about a secret pact which was made in 1916 during the First World War. Back in October 2004, I wrote an article about the history of the building which houses RW Print on Norton Road, Pelsall. In 1881, the building was known as Newlands Villa and was occupied by four families including John Bott and his wife Elizabeth and John Chambers, Richard Jackson Eli, his wife Sarah and their three children, John Binns, his wife Catherine and three children, and Joseph Morris, his wife Eliza and their two children and Elizabeth Taylor. By 1917 Newland Villas was known as Melrose Place and was now divided into three houses. When I visited RW Print back in 2004, the building still retained much of its original architecture and features inside and outside. Even the old cellar was still there. Whilst telling me about the history of the building, the owner told me about a very intriguing discovery which was once made during renovation work and put me in touch with the local historian, Mr Albert Tomkinson, who very kindly shared with me what he had and what he knew about the find. Mr Tomkinson told me that many years ago, prior to my visit, builders were demolishing an old and derelict outhouse to the rear of the shop and stumbled upon a handful of papers which were hidden within the brickwork. A couple of the envelopes were addressed to J. A. Binns, who could have been John Arthur Binns, the son of John Binns. On the surface of things, it could be described as odd, hiding envelopes within brickwork, but negligible. However, the other finds left far more questions than answers, and revealed an unsolved and intriguing mystery. In amongst the other papers that were found, there were a number of love letters, four unwritten wartime postcards, and three tickets to the Allies Bazaar which was being held on Thursday and Friday, December the 7th and 8th in 1916 at the Wesleyan schools. Perhaps most curiously of all, there was a single bullet hidden within the brickwork with them. The letter, which was perhaps the most intriguing of all, was sent to the front line in 1916 and in the corner the letter to the recipient read, Please burn. The recipient seems to be betrothed to someone called Clara, who the other person, Jay, knows. Regrettably, the letters which had succumbed to damp were so fragile they could not be read, hence whatever was written will remain a secret. Despite my best efforts at the time and appeals in my Pelsal Times magazine, I was unable to discover anything about the secretive letters, the writer or the recipient, and as for the bullet, I have no idea at all why that should have been there. The secret pact, intention, or whatever it was, remained that way and died with the people concerned, whoever they were.